Getting down with getting down to business on 108 Praise Radio. I am your host, Sean Bailey, your financial lifestyle planner. And man, oh man, oh man, I'm so excited, man. I got a radio show. <laughs> so I thank everybody uh, for tuning in this evening. We got an action-packed, uh, fun-filled show. I'm really, really excited about what we got going on tonight, really. So again, thank you very much because you'd be doing anything right now, but you tuned in with me. And please know I appreciate that love. So um, getting down to business with Sean Bailey, your financial lifestyle planner. We're going to be talking everything business and everything finance. So um, tune in. Uh, hit us with questions. We're going to give you a call-in uh, number a little bit later in the show so you can call in and ask us questions. But tonight is an epic night for me because at the kickoff of my show, I got a very, very amazing person um, as my first guest. His name is... David McCovey. He is the founder of Evolution Travel. So we're going to be talking to him tonight, asking him some questions about his business and how he's doing everything and um, the mindset that it needs to really be successful. So David, are you there? Can you hear me? Absolutely. Sean. Can you hear me? I can, sir. I can. How are you feeling this evening? Oh, man, I'm better than amazing, brother. How are you over there? Man, I can't complain, brother. I'm doing better than I deserve, sir. Doing better than I deserve. deserve. How's that weather out there in Vegas? It, it, it's great, man. You know, we're getting back to where we should be. You know, it was funny because we were saying that the global warming wasn't warming because everywhere else in the country had decent <laughs> weather. And, you know, where we're supposed to have it, we were in the 40s and the 50s, but now we're back to the 70s, so we're, we're good. Man, I, you know, we got to get out there and get some of that beautiful weather out there in Vegas, man. Hey, you know, you, you know, you and Darlene are always welcome here, brother. So just let me know when you want to come. We'll make it happen. I know that's right. So, David, um, tell him a little bit about your story because David has been a great mentor to me. He's not only helped me in my business, but he's also helped me as a man and helped me grow. Um, so, Evolution Travel, how long has Evolution been around, David? How long, how long has that been established? Uh, we just uh, actually were blessed to celebrate our one-year anniversary. Uh, we launched January 3rd. Uh, of last year, so we just celebrated the one-year anniversary. Okay, and I'm getting a, just a little bit ahead of myself, so I apologize. So, so David, tell them tell them a little bit about your story, and then go in and, and tell tell them a little uh, a lot of bit. I'm not I'm gonna stop saying a little bit. Tell them about tell them about your story, and then tell them about evolution travel. Okay, awesome. Um, uh, my story is actually it, 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 it's pretty funny, man, because I had no idea that I would be in network marketing, uh, let alone uh, you know being a founder of a network marketing company. Um, I, you know, grew up and, you know, was kind of taught like we all were, you know, get a good job and, you know, get good grades and all that kind of stuff. I was an athlete, so I played uh, football and actually had a chance to get a college scholarship and, and play football. And, you know, when I, when I graduated, I, just, I didn't see, you know, the workforce really as something that, you know, for corporate America, that corporate America could pay me, you know, what my time was worth. So, and I got into some different things, different endeavors, and actually I, um, you know, started with the mobile detailing business, kind of worked my way up. And, you know, I think my last real business before getting into network marketing was um, a concert company here in Las Vegas. You know, I was blessed with some great time packs, and I had the largest independently owned uh, concert company here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And, you know, we were kind of going through our thing with having, you know, had some ups and downs in, in that particular business. And, uh, you know, we lost the money doing some shows and did some uh, MMA shows and, you know, just things of that nature. And, and, you know, we're doing too well at, at the end of it. We, we lose about a couple hundred grand, you know, in our last few months of business. And so I needed to look at something else and, you know, didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want to go clock in anywhere. And, you know, my mom was involved in network marketing. She had uh, retired from uh, the Clark County School District here in Las Vegas. And, and so she was she was in network marketing. And, and, you know, and I told her, I said, well, mom, you know, I knew that wasn't for me. And she used to try to get me involved in it. You know, I was like, you know, most people, I called it the pyramid thing and, and everything else. But, you know, when I had to look at it, you know, I actually gave her a call and I said, Mom, you know, what's going on with that, you know, that pyramid thing? And so, you know, she <laughs> laughed and she said, okay, well, we want to get you started. I told her, I said, Mom, I love you to death, but, I, you know, I know you're in it for the social aspect of it. You're not making any money. I said, sit me down with someone who's making some money. And she did that. And uh, the gentleman who would, you know, become my, what we call upline or he was my senior vice president in that particular company, I had a chance to sit down with him and he showed me, you know, the compensation plan and the way that it worked. And I knew immediately that I could do this, you know, because of my, gra my background in, in promoting it. I wasn't afraid to talk to people, especially when it was something that I believed in. And so I got started and, and did pretty well right out of the gate and, you know, just kind of snowball effect. And, and that was 
in a company that was products and services. And so we did pretty well there. And, you know, once we found the travel industry, we knew that that's where we wanted to go. And so we left that particular company and started a travel company and, you know, did pretty well there and, you know, got some new relationships and met some more amazing people. And, you know, we started to not have the same vision as that particular company. And so, you know, I talked to my leaders and we knew it was time to just start our own deal. And so we did that, you know, and here we are. So, you know, in a very short period of time, about three years, we went from walking into, you know, unknown arena, which is network marketing into now, you know, having our own travel company. So we're really excited and just super blessed. Awesome, man. That's that's an awesome story to hear. So, again, you said that you chose travel. Why travel? Um, for me, travel, I mean, the, the travel was, of all the things out there, travel was the no-brainer because um, I believe, you know, we always say that it's the second industry out there. You don't have to sell travel. You don't have to explain travel. You know, people know, you know, that they want to travel. You know, we always say there's two types of people, those that travel and those that want to. There's no one else in the world. And anytime <laughs> that you're looking to, you know, establish uh, a strong financial footprint, you want to be involved in something where you don't have, um, obstacles as far as everyone not being in your target market. And with travel, everyone that you see is your target market. You know, when you look at some of the other products that are involved in the network marketing space, you know, some of them are absolutely amazing, but you're going to miss certain people with them because everyone isn't your target market. You know, you're going to have people who, you know, who don't need or who don't want to lose weight, who don't like coffee or tea or, you know, or don't want the skin cream or, or whatever the things may be. But when you talk about travel, it's, it's everyone. And so, you know, anytime that you want to make money, you want to be able to have the biggest market possible, and we saw that with travel. Well, that is that is awesome and, and true, like you said, because it is a, definitely a sexy industry, and, and I like that there's two types of people, people that travel and people that want to travel. So that is definitely awesome. Now, we're, you're talking about, and this is one of the things that I want to discuss with you, because a lot of people say uh, network marketing, and, and kind of as you said, you know, that pyramid thing, and I think people miss opportunities there. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. How did that really, what do you say to people being that you were there? What do you say to people to overcome that? Because I, I know a lot of people say, well, that's just that pyramid scheme or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Hey, How do you respond to that? I mean, uh, um, actually, you know, and, you know, people say that and, and when they do, I don't get upset because I was that one. I mean, I said it to my mom. So if I can say it to my mom, then I definitely can't have a problem with the stranger saying it to me. And I think it's just for not a lack of knowledge, you know, uh, you know, I was and other people that simply, you know, ignorant to the opportunity to the industry and not by, um, you know, not, not for, you know, lack of them not being smart, just ignorant because they don't know or don't understand. And we always repeat things that we were heard or what we taught. And if you actually ask most people what a pyramid is, they can't tell you, you know. And we know now because we've been educated in the industry that it's when there's money exchange, but there's no goods or services exchange for that money. And we know that in most network marketing companies, especially here at Evolution, that's not the case. You get something of value, you know, for your money. And so I'm really, it doesn't bother me when people say that. I just, it, it, as long as they're not being, uh, uh, you know, disrespectful or hateful, I, I, I explain to them what the difference is. And a lot of people just have never been explained that before. And, you know, I have to have an open mind when people say that and understand where they're coming from because, you know, I, I truly believe that if, if God hadn't kind of steered me, you know, in the direction and, and made me, you know, um, actually lose some things or come away from some things that I was comfortable with, I would have never got started myself. So oftentimes it's not the person, it's their situation we're trying to get them involved. And I know that's exactly what it was for me. Well, that's definitely awesome. And you said some things because sometimes God will pull some things from you to get you exactly where you want to be. And I think that's extremely, extremely powerful. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so talk to me. How many, how many people, how many people are involved in? Like, how many, how many people are involved in Evolution Travel? Uh, right now, we, we have over uh, three thousand agents in our program, okay. uh, and you know we actually do pretty well with uh, retention. The biggest thing in in, in overall. Uh, network marketing is the the retention issues. People come in, they stay for 30 days, and they're gone again. And, you know, we faced that ourselves when we first launched. People got involved because you know, they were excited or because it was a fad or because of the hype. And, you know, some of them fell off and some of them stayed. But, you know, what we're really proud of is that we're building a really, really strong group of uh, family-oriented and, and goal-oriented people. And so now we don't see the high levels of attrition, um, you know, like most companies do. And, you know, we're building it like family. And I think that if you talk to any of our agents, 
tell you that that's truly what we are. You know, we're business partners just because they call us that, but we're more uh, family oriented than we are, uh, you know, just business partners. So I think that's what makes, you know, our overall culture special, which allows people to actually want to stay, you know, because we have things in common and we actually care for each other outside of business as well. So I think that's a, a strong suit of ours. And also definitely building building business with family. You can't go wrong with that. Um, so let's let's talk a little bit about the business as, aspect of it. Do you encourage a lot of your agents to be to focus as business owners? Because one of the problems that I see with some business owners, David, and, and correct me or tell me if you see the same, a lot of business owners they work their business, but they don't do a good job of working on their business i.e. marketing, um, making sure their structures are in order, doing things of that nature. Do you, does Evolution, do you guys encourage that? That's what I just told you. Yeah, we, we, we totally do. Um, you know, you have to, and sometimes you actually have to tell people, especially where, when they don't have a third mindset, they have to work it like their job. Right, because mm -hmm. you know we'll get up every day, That's get in traffic, and you know make sure that we're not late to go clock in for someone else. But we want uh, a lot, the uh, appropriate amount of time to actually build our own business. And so, for some people, depending on their background, we tell them don't treat it like your business, treat it like your job, and because okay. that's the mindset that they have, and, and when they understand that, they'll put more into it, but it, 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 it's really a business. You have to put time into it, efforts. We have to put, you know, money back into your business as far as advertising and, and things of that nature, and, and so when we do that and we really run it like it's a Fortune 500 company, then, you know, people will have the success that, get, and that they get started for. Um, you know, even though we teach warm market, which is friends and family, that's, we believe that's where you should start your core group and build your business. But, you know, Sean, I tell uh, the family all the time, if I gave you a Walmart right now today, would you only talk to your friends and family about it, or would you talk to everyone? You talk to everyone because you okay. want everyone to shop at your store or at your location. Exactly. And so, you know, that's what we do. We, we start with the with the, what we call the warm market, the friends and family, and we grow it into everyone, you know, because, again, we, we're not ashamed of the opportunity we have. We know that it, it's a great opportunity with great people involved in it. And so, you know, we want to share it with everyone. And that is definitely, that is that is some great advice because, again, you know, everybody has been approached in their day about an MLM or I like to say relationship marketing because I really do believe it's about building and establishing relationships. But the one question I always ask people when they approach me is, can I, can I, can I make money doing this without building a team? Because that's where a lot of relationship marketing pushes you is to say, you got to build a team, you got to build a team, and the only way you make it is if you have a team. And when I heard about this opportunity... You can build a team if you want, but you can make a whole lot of money booking travel. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And and we had a uh, and well, what happens is once you do something well or have success with something, the other opportunities or other doors of opportunity open for you within this business. And we have um, several leaders in in our organization that got started at first simply to book travel, and now they are some of the most well-rounded and highest paid individuals in our particular company because they make money on the travel side and the team building side. And, you know, two of them come right off the top of my head. Uh, they're both goal consultants, um, Patrice Abel's Vance and, and, and Lynn Huddleston, and th because they both got started with no um, uh, anticipation on building teams. But when you're starting to have success, people see the success, they see you traveling, and they ask you what it is that you're doing. And at that point, you're just having, uh, you know, like we like to say, successful conversations. But, you know, to your point, with our, with our program, you truly can get involved in this program. Never speak to anyone at all about joining your quote-unquote team or being, you know, a part of your organization and make money. You know, we have uh, Patrice, I just mentioned, she has over $600,000 in bookings um, on, on the books for just booking travel. So, again, if she was not... Um, you know, a great relationship person like she is and, and developing a team, she'd be okay with just travel commissions. And so that, I think, really makes our deal different than a lot of deals because, like you said, most companies, you cannot sustain the income if you don't build a team. And with our deal, it's not like that. You know, so that's what we're, we're really proud of that because, again, it's different than what we see in the overall industry. Well, that is awesome. And Miss Patrice, I need to meet her until I just need to hold $20. I don't need a whole lot. I just want $20. <laughs> Now, that, that is definitely awesome. Now, from one of the things that I've known and I've seen you, you've always been an innovator and you're doing things that nobody else is doing. So when you talk about the aspect of booking travel, how are you guys different from everybody else? Tell me a little bit about the, you know, why would Evolution, why would somebody say Evolution over another travel group? Um, I think that it, we, you know, uh, our model from day one 
has been um, people over profits. And mm -hmm. we believe that if you treat the people right, then the profits have to come. And so for us, I mean, if you just stack, if, if you take all the travel companies, you know, in our in the space, and if it was like a label, if you just took all the labels off and you just lined them up side by side, what the pros and cons were of all companies, I guarantee you our company would come out on top because not only do we have an amazing culture and can't say that other companies don't because some do, um, but we try and do a good job, as I believe, of, of keeping the people first and actually paying better. Um, we're the only company right now that is paying out 100% of the travel commissions from when an agent books travel. And so we pay 90% out to the agent and 10% to the uh, sponsor of that particular agent. So again, you know, right off of the top, we pay more than anyone else. Uh, we have uh, more vendors than anyone else. Um, I could be correct if I'm wrong, but I know the last time that we ran this information, uh, our company was the only company that had sandals, which is a huge vendor um, that we had access to. A lot of companies don't. So, I mean, we have great relationships with all of the vendors, and we are at the highest tier of commissions available um, at, with all the vendors as well. So I think, you know, those things, if you're just looking for a snapshot of why people would join our travel side, other than, you know, other companies, I think, you know, those two things stand out above anything else I could say. And it's the exact same way on the on the team building side, you know, which is totally optional, like we said. But if you get involved on that side, too, we're the only company where you can earn residual income. For those that don't know what residual income is, it's, it's money that comes in, you know, month after month after month for something that you did one time, just like our bills, right? We signed up for that bill one time, but they bill us every month. And so that's why we're passionate about residual income. But we're the only company that has what we call a residual profit pool. And most companies, when you earn residual income, you earn that off of your efforts and off of your team's efforts. But in our company, you earn that off of the company as a whole, which is really, really important because it doesn't matter how good you are at what you do, you're going to have some good months and you're going to have some not so good months. And because you earn your residual income based on everyone in the company, not just on your direct team, it softens up those months where business isn't as good because as long as the company overall is growing and winning, then you are growing and winning. And, again, we're the only company to do that. So I think if you, like I said, if you just lined up all of the companies in our space um, and put them in a, a, a white bag and, and it didn't have a name on it, and you dug your hand in that bag and you pulled out the company, you read the pros and cons on each one, I think we win every time. Oh, man, that is definitely awesome, and I like that because one of the things that you said is well, everybody has residual bills. Why not have residual income? And I think it's just okay. a mindset that people have to adapt to. So many people are used to going and getting a check, and even when we talk to seniors, they say, I live on a fixed income. People that get a salary live on a fixed income. Like, you know, there is no, unless you work overtime, but you're going to get a set amount of money. So I, I love that. I love that, especially people over profits. That's really huge. Well, what we're going to do, David, is we're going to take our first break. And to everybody out there listening, you're listening to Getting Down to Business on 108 Praise with Sean Bailey, a financial lifestyle planner. And here's what we're going to do, David, if you're cool with this. We're going to open up the phone lines and have some people come, call in and ask some questions. You cool with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's do it. So if you want to call in and talk to me or David, the phone number is 770-415-2149. Again, 770-415-2149. Please take advantage of this time to call in and ask me or David any questions that you may have, whether it be travel or business related. We'll be here to answer them for you, but we'll be back right after this short break. You're listening to Getting Down to Business on 108 Praise Radio. Alright everybody, we're going to take a short break and I'll be back hey, with you in a minute. You know good? So don't go good? nowhere. <laughs> I'm going to let you down. Hey yeah. David, man, how, how you feeling about it? Is that what's done? I'm feeling good, brother. It, 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 it's coming on just like we figured.